Why, hello there. It's JT the OCG. Commander Shepard, if you please. Well, let's start off with a little poll. To be, and there's going to be four options. To be or not to. Now, what is the correct answer? Is it A, B, B, C, C, we, or D? All right, we're going into this galaxy map. Uh, outer planet first. Hunador. I don't know any of these either. Hunador is moderately sized ice world. Oh, I, I got to remember to slow it down because I do have non-English speak or English as a second language um, subscribers. So I have to slow it down and do my David Attenborough. Hunador is a moderately sized ice world with an extremely thin atmosphere composed of Krypton and Xeon. Its frozen surface is unusually smooth, suggesting widespread repaving by cryovolcanic processes. No, though so no, though no such activity is currently evident. All right, so the, but we don't have anything there with the surveys. I don't see an asteroid belt. The Mal. Vamal is an enormous terrestrial world of mixed rock and ice with an atmosphere of methane and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of calcium with deposits of iron. Because of noxious surface gases, explorers are warned to use extreme caution. All right, we got a large deposit of uranium. Oh God, uranium. I was around yellow cake uranium. I, I set off a... That might have something to do with my cancer as well at such an early age. Uh, but yeah, I, I set off... Uh, I set off radiation detectors for a little bit. After being around yellow cake uranium. Uh, Trebin. Trebin is a modest terrestrial world with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. The surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of silver. Trebin's environment is relatively mild, but the scarcity of water or similar enabling substances has prevented the development of any biosphere. Exogenic Core recently performed a test impact of a single water ice comet into the surface. The first step of a long-term plan to thicken the atmosphere and introduce water to the environment. Survey team is on the surface monitoring, monitoring the geological and meteorological effects of the test impact. Most of the water released is still in the form of atmospheric vapor, but thick clouds bank have formed. There is every indication that this arid world will soon see its first rain. The survey team's progress has been hampered by frequent mechanical or computer failures in their GPS satellites. Okay, so we're not going to land there, but that's where it is. Trebin, we'll go to these other ones. Ploba. Ploba is the second and by far the larger of Antares two gas giants. Active scans by survey ships have returned tantalizing indications of massive solid structures deep within the atmosphere. Too regular in pattern to be anything natural. Some people believe Ploba is a Jupiter brain, a planet-sized supercomputer. Adherents of this theory have fruitlessly beamed signals toward the sunken megastructures, hoping to get the machine's attention. Others believe that an ancient spacefaring race disposed of their weapons of war by dumping them into the planet. The last attempt to reach and salvage Ploba's deep anomalies went tragically wrong and ended with a crew of 12 being trapped and crushed in the gas giant's lower atmosphere. Covered a strange object or orbiting Ploba. Chief Engineer Adams and Tally tried unsuccessfully to determine its origin. They did find one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings stored within. Edmos. This one does sound familiar, but I don't 
know where it's from. Edmos is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of methane in its atmosphere. If Trebin's terraforming is successful, it is suspected that a helium-3 fuel refining facility for the system will be set up here. And yeah, we got hydrogen. Of course we got hydrogen. It said it. Ah, oh, don't stare into the sun. During the initial survey of the Antis system, only a single flyby probe was spared for the small scorched world of Akika, Agako, Agaka, Agagakakuku. It revealed the planet unusually rich in heavier elements given its size. Agiko is a standard terrestrial with a thin atmosphere of krypton and xeon. Its crust is mainly composed of magnesium with deposits of cobalt and other heavy metals. Due to extremely rough crater terrain, starships are discouraged from landing. All right, so we know where we're going. Going to Trebin. Suit up, everybody. Now, who haven't I brought in a while? Well, I have Garrus. I haven't brought in a while. So we're definitely bringing Garrus. Ah, Garrus and Tally. Wait a minute. No. Tech strength. So she's a tech and he's... Hmm. It almost seems like I always got to bring Tally if I want a tech, but I don't really want one. So it's either Caden or Tally. Both are not my favorite. Hmm. Well, we'll try it without having so much of a tech strength. We'll bring... Nah, we'll bring Garrett. Nah, I'll bring Garrison Tally. Yeah, Garrison Tally. All right, so where are we? We're over here. Anomaly there, research base there, anomaly there. So, so bear with me for a second. I'm gonna go all the way over here. We'll cut this out. All right. So we got the anomaly here, ancient debris. pot is empty except for a small tattered flag marked with the Niminus colony insignia. Okay. There's the research base, so we're going to cut right across. Oh, and here we go.
Wow. Oh. oh. So, that happened. You know, they could have talked to us. Oh, you're kidding me. There we go. Holy moly. All right, so crap. They use Omni Gel. This device is transmitting tight beam signals into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. Ah, oh, okay, so these are all the... Ah. So is that the scavenger's work? Probably. Nobody's been here for a while. What do you guys think? You lead. I'll follow. Just lead the way. All right. What's this? All right, that's just a... Uh... According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. We should check out the excavation site. Could be some answers there. So these have nothing. Okay. Pass my parallel parking test. Anything around? Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. So, um,
Wow. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. Tally's got that. I got this. And... We're gonna have you use an assault rifle here, Garrus. that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Ah, uh, but keep on alert. What the hell is this? That must be it, right? Shepard. Yeah, but is that the end of the tale? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh, thank god for PC. You can use I just basically use the mouse. Just doing a little bit of target practice. Cats were all the Exogeni survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husk by devices similar to those used by Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. <sighs> Negative contacts, Commander.
Oh my goodness. How can I do this? Oh my goodness, that was a big pain in the ass. Sludge canister had all that, huh? Look at these guys hiding this stuff. Alright, so we got Tsunami and Thunder. Ooh. Garrus, you're getting one of these, buddy.
Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attigan Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Oh, for crying out loud, these guys can't do anything without me. Well, we'll leave it at that. Next time, we're going to go to Pharos. Thanks for joining me. Get up my intel